Well, hello to my YouTube astronaut friends. Uh, today I finally got the 5 ounce Apollo 11 coin that I had been waiting for for what seems like forever. Um, they were on back order after only a few minutes from the U.S. Mint. Finally got those in the mail today, so I want to show you those now. So now, um, you know, really excited about getting these. Uh, finally, I had thought about canceling canceling these things because, I mean, it was just taking forever. I went onto their website today and found out that they are now on back order until October the 25th. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, that was that was not cool. That whole thing from the U.S. men having to go on back order after such a short time. I didn't really care for that. Uh, it almost made me cancel it, but you know, here we are watching the video, so I didn't cancel it. Real quick, I want to say that um, you know, typically U.S. Mint has the worst uh, shipping I've ever seen in my life. Um, here's one of the sheaths on the box because it was like literally just you know jammed into the box here, and that's you know just that's all it was was just jammed in, and you know, U.S. Mint. <clears throat> wow, you would think that they'd have a little bit better of a uh, shipping process. Not so much. I mean, it is at least just a, a paper, you know, cardboard sheath that got damaged there, but kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. You want everything to be 100% flawless when you get it. Um, again, uh, as we've seen in the previous video, um, just some information about the uh, program and what it's commemorating. So um, it's, it's the uh, moon landing. Okay, here we go. So two minutes in, we're finally seeing this thing. Here we go. So... When I first opened this and I first seen the box, I was like, oh, you know, I didn't know what to expect. But very, very excited and happy now that I have this thing. It's huge, everybody. I wish you could hold this into your hand and just see how huge it is. I showed somebody else uh, this today and they were like, wow, it's, it's actually really cool. And uh, I mean, the YouTube video is not going to do this thing justice. It is phenomenal. And here, I mean, you can see how the shape of it. I'm definitely not going to take it out of this plastic. Um, I'm just going to leave it right where it is, but you can see the curvature on it. Really, really cool. Big, big. I mean, this, you can see my fan through the reflection. See the fan, the fanage? That's one of my biggest fans right now. Um, so again, nothing's changed too much. It's just huge. It's huge. So I'm going to show you the one ounce for comparison. And I know I'm making a mess, but I can fix this all later. That just went onto the floor because I'm dropping things. Hold on. Stand by. Got floor stuff. Okay. We're back. <sighs> Sorry, everybody. Okay. I could edit all that out, but what's the fun of editing? You know what I mean? Like sometimes doing it live is better. This might be the one that's hard to get out. So, all right. We're not going to take it out, but you can see the size difference. It is uh, slightly noticeable. So slightly, slightly noticeable. I mean, what do you think? What do you think about this thing? The size alone is just makes it so impressive. And I know they're expensive. They were like uh, a little over $200 for the big ones. And um, that had me kind of not wanting to recommend it at first. But then some, you know, some companies were saying they would offer you more money if you... Actually, let me just keep that out. What am I doing? Co offer you more money if you were to buy these and sell them directly to them. So um, I was thinking, you know what, maybe that's an opportunity. And uh, yeah, they, you know, especially if you got one graded right now and it receives like a, you know, a high grade of 70, excuse me, then uh, it would do very well, very well, you know, profit back. So here's the gold. And I think you all remember me showing you this thing. I'll try to zoom in for you a little bit. Again, you can really appreciate the fan and stuff going on because of the reflectivity. Very, very beautiful. We'll take it out just for fun. Now the gold, um, I think is on the proof at least, is on uh, back order right now. So not sure when those are shipping. I don't plan on buying another gold one. And I'm pretty sure it was a one per household limit. I could be wrong on that. But um, yeah, very cool. I really, really enjoy the gold one. And I really enjoy 
the one dollar one, which I think I don't believe this one's on back order at all. So you can have you'd have no problem just picking up one of those if you wanted to get like a cheap, cheap one. I think those are like fifty, between like fifty and sixty bucks right now for the one, one ounce. And yeah, the big boy. Again, these are on back order until October twenty fifth. Jeez. So don't be in any kind of rush to get these. Um, they're available all over eBay. You're going to be paying um, about near a hundred dollars more for one at the very, very minimum, if you're, if you want one. Um, otherwise, you know, if you're thinking about getting one, you know, wait for it and it'll be here in October. But I would highly recommend considering this one right here. I didn't, I didn't understand the wow factor when I was looking at the information of it and considering the price to, you know, silver ratio. Yeah, you're not getting your money's worth when it comes to just like, you know, stacking silver. That's not what this is about whatsoever. It is totally a collector's piece, and I totally recommend this for your, you know, collection. This is, this is beautiful. This is large. Amazing what they've done here with this, this curvature in it, and that that footprint is just iconic. Um, very cool, and you know you got the, of course you got the helmet. So right here is what you're doing is you're actually looking into the helmet, and you can see what what he had seen when he was on the moon. Really cool. So. You know, if you believe they put a man on a moon, you know, there it is. If you don't believe it, it's still a beautiful coin. Still a beautiful coin. Beautiful series. Um, I didn't get the ha uh, half dollars. Um, those are actually sold out now, at least in the set of half dollars. So um, if you didn't get one of those, you missed out. You definitely missed out on those. Um, I missed out. I didn't figure those would be uh, that popular. Uh, you know, I'm a fool. It is what it is. But I do enjoy these. And I want to show you more commemoratives when they come. That uh, 100 Year Legion uh, set is out right now too, um, and and I tell you what, the gold coin there is absolutely beautiful, and it's about a $400 coin that gold one from the U the U.S. Legion. So, you know, if you missed out on this one, if you if you're not going to get this one, consider that Legion coin. But again, this this gold coin right here is phenomenal. It is beautiful. And no, no, uh, you know the U.S. Mint doesn't give me any money for selling these. Nothing like that. It's just me telling you what a beautiful coin. You know, are they expensive? Yes, they're expensive. You know, it's a collector's coin. Are you guaranteed to get your money back for these? Maybe not, but I mean, iconic, beautiful. Um, I could get my, I could get over what I paid for this one right now, and uh, probably a little bit more than I paid for this one. I'd, I haven't looked into this one to be honest with you at all. But I do not plan to sell um, these beyond. Let me be honest. Beyond the fact that I have two two of the five ounces so I may end up selling one of the five ounces uh, just to you know whatever recoup some money because I why do you need to you know I don't I don't think I need to personally so um, I may end up doing that just to just to get a little bit of the money back and invest it towards other things so let me see if I can get this out and prove that I have two I don't want to ruin that little casing inside but yeah, you can see that there is two, and they're huge, equally huge. Yeah, I may have one graded at some point. I might have a uh, 70 on my hands here, and that adds a lot of value. Um, a few of the 70s right now on eBay are going for about double what people paid for these things. So um, definitely, you know, if you have one, consider having it graded because you might you might have uh, a little bit of uh, extra money coming back to you if you do that. So. Anyways, I just want to show you that I finally got these things. Again, October the 25th, if you're going to get one of these. Right now, as of the making of this video, because who knows when somebody's going to actually watch this, it's March right now. Whoa. So you'd have to wait until October the 25th to get one. That's To me, that's just wild. I can't believe the Mint did that with the back order stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. That's what we're dealing with. So if you can't wait, if you got to get one right this second... There are, you know, some other, uh, you know, shops out there. Um, I'm sure all the big online sale sellers have this stuff available. You're definitely going to pay an arm and a leg from them. Um, if you just feel like waiting, then the usmint.gov has that available right now, but it is on back order. So, and who knows when they're actually going to sell out of them. I bet they don't last the whole year. I bet they do end up selling out of these uh, this year. You know, I'm not going to bet my bottom dollar on it, but I'll bet like one of the, uh, you know, mid-level dollars. So anyways, at this point, uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to make some more videos for you all. So make sure you, uh, you know, continue to uh, comment and, 
and subscribe to me if you haven't. And uh, feel free to thumbs up the video if you like seeing the commemoratives. All right, Spectacular is out. Thank you.